You might have seen this video of a woman playing the violin in the middle of a brain surgery where she was having a tumor removed. But the patient does not seem to be in pain and you would be right, she's not. But how is that possible? Isn't the brain supposed to be the organ full of nerves? Now it's obviously true that the brain is the organ made primarily of neurons or nerve cells. But the brain actually lacks any nociceptors or nerves that can sense pain. So the woman was not actually in pain despite the amount of surgical blades that were coming into contact with her brain. But what's the point of having her play the violin? Well, for the purposes of the surgery, they wanted to make sure that they were not damaging any structures that were vital to her hand coordination. And if suddenly she had problems manipulating her violin, they would know that they are potentially harming some brain tissue. But what about headaches? If the brain can't feel any pain, why do we get them? When we have headaches, it's not actually the brain itself that senses the pain, it's more so the structures around it. Things like your meninges, which are the layers covering your brain, the blood vessels in your head, or the trigeminal nerve, all structures that have nociceptors or the pain receptors. So that means if they sense pain, we interpret it as headaches. The trigeminal nerve is a cranial nerve that exits the brain and feeds many areas of the head. And it's especially implicated in conditions that cause headaches, like migraines, cluster headaches, and trigeminal neuralgia. Also, the drugs that are commonly used to treat severe headaches often do so through mechanisms targeting those structures. So next time you get a headache after a long day, just know that it's not your brain that actually hurts.